Hello YouTube, this is Dazza the Cameraman. Today is Thursday the 9th of April 2015 and this is an update on the Crow Debunkery project. I've been doing further research on my view that the lunar wave as filmed by Crow and others is simply caused by atmospheric refraction uh, caused by warm and cold air masses passing by uh, also the possibility of the involvement of gravity or buoyancy waves which is another natural phenomenon and uh, also the possibility that uh, aircraft contrails or um, bow shock could possibly be causing these lunar waves and uh, on that point at least we're going to take a look at some videos uh, by crosswind uh, that show several aircraft crossing over in front of the moon and let's see what we find these are selected clips from Crosswind's video. I'll play them through once and then I'll slow them down and we can take a closer look and see what's going on. This clip has already been slowed down by Crosswind and is the clearest example of what appears to be a lunar wave crossing the disk of the moon after the plane has crossed. Here is one more clip before we take a closer look in slow motion. Okay so let's now take a closer look at these clips. Here is the best clip again and you can clearly see that what appears to be a lunar wave moves into view from the left hand side and crosses the moon to the right hand side after the plane has crossed. This time I have applied a line to show the direction and angle of the aircraft as it passes so that we can compare it to the lunar wave as it passes from left to right. As we can see it's the same. Let's watch that clip again but slow down even further. Here comes the plane we can see the angle and here comes the apparent lunar wave from left to right it matches the angle of the line and again in this next clip we see the same thing we see an apparent lunar wave moving from the left hand side to the right hand side after the plane has passed let's watch this clip three more times Now in this final clip we just get a quick view of the apparent lunar wave as the clip is merged into the next one. Let's look at that again. You can just see before the video fades into the next clip the lunar wave starting before it's faded out. Let's look at that one more time. I'll put a link in the description area to Crosswind's video and you can check it out for yourself. Now of course I should say that we don't see any aircraft flying by in any of Crow's videos and I'm pretty sure he would notice if there are any aircraft flying over especially close to the moon. Uh, but it should be pointed out that Crow does live in San Diego which is near a very busy international airport. Now I'm not suggesting that all apparent lunar waves are caused by aircraft as we've seen here. I do believe that they're also caused by uh, other phenomena such as uh, passing warm and cold air masses and as I mentioned possibility of gravity waves or, or buoyancy waves as they're also known and I'll be following up on that research in another video but I did want to point out that uh, certainly an apparent lunar wave uh, can be caused by natural phenomena uh, such as aircraft passing uh, which is disturbing the atmosphere as we clearly see in these videos. Um, so I'm not going to jump to the con conclusion that um, an aircraft is causing a glitch in the moon hologram uh, as some might um, but it just gives us food for thought and I will be following up on this in another video. By the way I have sent Crosswind a private message uh, to ask him if he still has the original uh, unedited videos that we can take a look at. We might find that uh, there are more apparent lunar waves in the unedited footage. Stay tuned for further updates. I will be following up with another more detailed video and as always do check out my Facebook discussion page Voices of Reason to Explain X or Vortex. You'll find a link in the description area. Thank you for watching.